Hello, welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor. In this section, we're going to continue working with vectors and specifically learn how to join two vectors together uh, into a larger vector. Occasionally, when you're working with large sets of data, you might have data from source A, data from source B, and you would like to maybe join them into one, into one long listing of numbers, which is basically a vector. So the way you do that is very, very simple, actually. So let's say you have vector one, we're going to call it vector one, and we're just going to define it to be whatever we want. We'll call it one, two, three, four. All right, so we can go ahead and put that on the screen. Vector one is now created for us. And we can create vector two and set that equal to, um, let's do seven, eight, nine. So vector one has four elements, vector two has three elements. So both of these vectors are created. Now let's just pretend for a second that vector one was some data from, I don't know, classroom A, uh, some grades or something, and vector two is some data from classroom B. And for whatever reason, in, in the course of your program or in whatever you're trying to do, you would like to join these into one vector, in other words, one listing of numbers um, there. So rather than defining a new vector, you know, of course, these are so small, you could just type 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. But what if you had, you know, vector 1 was like 55 units long and vector 2 is 36 units? How would you join them together easily? The way you do that is, I'm going to call this big vector, just to let you know what's going on. So what you do is you open up a bracket and you do it like this, vector 1 space vector 2. So what you've told MATLAB to do here is create a new vector. We're going to call it big vector. And we open up our brackets just like we were going to type in new values. But instead of typing in new values, we type in the name of vector 1, which dumps these numbers right here with spaces between them, basically. And then we put a space and we say vector 2, which dumps these numbers out. So the end result is a new vector we call big vector with 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, and 9. Um, so that, in a nutshell, is how you basically join two vectors together. And, uh, you know, you can even create an, another vector. And you could do things like uh, maybe you want to, instead of joining vector 1 and 2, maybe you want it to contain uh, the elements of vector 1 with some additional numbers at the end. Maybe a negative 2 at the end, negative 6, negative 7 at the end, or something like that. So now we're creating another vector. And the first few elements, the first four elements, are going to be what we already defined as vector 1. And then we're going to have three additional elements at the end. And you can see all this happens. Fine, and in fact, I'm going to call one more vector super big vector, and we can do vector one space vector two space 100 space 102 space 103. So let's say I want to create you know a, a mammoth vector, and I'll put the elements of vector one, elements of vector two, and then I'm going to have some numbers at the end just for whatever reason. I have some new data I want to go ahead and put in that vector and you can see it behaves exactly the same. So that's the basic idea. If you have uh, vectors, I'm, I'm using the example of populations and things like that because that's it's fairly common when you might want to pull some data in from a file, store it into a vector, uh, which is basically a listing of numbers. And then you have another file, you're pulling it into another vector and then maybe you want to, to join these things together or to uh, do something of that nature. And once you have this guy uh, defined, the super big vector and the, and the large vectors that we've created, just to practice some of the stuff we've done in the previous section, if you wanted to then extract just a few elements here, uh, I'll call it extract extraction, um, then the way you would do that is super big vector. Now, if I wanted to extract a single element, I would do something like element four, right? And, uh, and that would basically take uh, element one, two, three, four, the number four, and it would put it in here. But if I want a range, maybe I want to extract elements four through six. So elements four, five, and six, let's make it four through eight. So four, five, six, seven, and eight. Those elements will be extracted and stored in this vector I'm calling extraction. And you can see they're pulled out and they're put into this vector here. So we're learning how to deal with vectors. We're learning how to define them. We learned how to operate on them before with dot and cross product. Now we're learning how to join vectors together. We've learned how to extract elements from vectors and how to extract subsets of elements from vectors. And these are things that you'll be using over and over again as you work with vectors in MATLAB.